Welcome to Quilt Chat. We're here at the AQS studios and we are very happy to be here to uh, converse, to yes. chat a little bit about everything quilting. We'll talk a little bit about the things we've been up to and about what might be happening in your world. So uh, what's new with you, Bonnie? Well, you know, we just juried the quilts for the Des Moines Quilt Show. And you know, when we see all of those quilts, we get to see some of the trends that are happening. And one of the trends that we're been, we've been seeing is using a lot of piping in the quilts, ah. particularly right along the binding edge. Mm -hmm. And we have an image here from Molly Ham Hamilton McNally, and she's used a red piping on the oh, edge of her quilt so nice. that it really stands out and Beautiful. kind of brings that color from the center clear to the edge of the quilt. Mm -hmm. And we also have an image from Beth Ann Nemish. And you know, she's famous for that beaded mm -hmm. piping. She is. Yeah. Oh my goodness, is it fun. And she uses it. I in wonder this. if she thinks it's fun. Do you think oh, that she, I think she does think? think it fun. Okay, good. And she uses different sizes of beads too, because you mm -hmm. make a you make a, a, a piece like you would make an inserted piping, mm -hmm. but then you slide a row of beads in ah, it. Ah, so they're not individual, individual. And then I you go back and you whip stitch it. over every single bead. So it looks like it's just a row of beads in cloth. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And in this quilt, she uses it in the center and she uses it near the edge, and then she uses it clear out on the edge of the quilt. So she's done a lot of beading. That's a fabulous quilt. It is. Absolutely. So beautiful. I had the wonderful opportunity of talking to Susan Cleveland at the Spring Paducah Show. Susan has a, a very beautiful quilt called Flowered and Feathered Frenzy. Susan has made a binding that is really incredible. She has, she calls it an undulating binding because the binding itself has gentle curves like, oh, say a roller coaster's easy side. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she told me that it was, uh, it took her a while to figure out just what to do, but it's a really neat binding. So if you get a chance to look closely at that, you can find it in, in uh, the July issue of AQ, which is a really big show quilt edition that we uh, that should be in your mailbox already. And if you don't have it, you can come to AmericanQuilter.com to find it. Well, and one of the things she did with that binding was she still put a piping inside the binding. So it, there's a there's a piped edge and mm -hmm. then the bound edge oh, that yes. undulates. Right. So it is truly something totally different. She ha does amazing things with her piping hot binding. Yes. Yes, she does. Well, I brought some show and tell for you guys today. Woohoo! We like show and tell. <laughs> I brought a very old quilt art. Our first one, 1985. And so it shows where we were way back when. And it has all the old golden oldies in it. And we found some prairie points in there, but we didn't find any piping, did no. we? No, I no, think that's come a lot of prairie That's prairies. newer. Yeah. A lot of prairie points. And said, so I also have the current one. And this one is special because um, our customers voted for the cover on aqsblog.com. Mm -hmm. um, we did a little survey and let them vote for which cover they liked the best and gave them some choices. And this one was it by a landslide? Won. It won by a landslide. It did. It was the most popular choice. And that's an original design, too. So there is no pattern for that. So if they if they're going to call and ask for it. We don't have that pattern. No. It's, it's an original design, and That's she's right. not patterning that quilt. That's right. right. And it was done by, I will make on? sure, Rebecca Bels Belsas from Rapid City, South Dakota. Well, and just so you don't get out of the habit of doing some voting for us, uh, you know, at the Fall Paducah Quilt Show, we're going to let you pick the best of show and the other, the best the best of show, the best wall quilt, and the next five winners. And um, it's, it's going to be all up to you. Normally, our judges would pick first, second, and third places. Right. And then we would hang all the first places, and they would then choose the top winners from those. Right. This time, when you open up the, the, your computer, and you'll be able to judge, to, you'll be able to vote with your laptop, your iPad, your iPhone, 
your computer, uh, desktop computer, and we'll also have stations at the quilt show when they come here. Oh, fun. So and you can, no matter where you are, whether you're there or at home. You and can. we want everyone to vote, and everybody gets one vote, and you'll be choosing from among the 15 first place winners in the 15 categories. It's going to be fun, and we can't wait to see oh, what everybody picks. It's going to be really different, and we're so excited. Paducah, downtown Paducah, is getting excited again. They love to see the quilters. That's true. Uh, yeah. There's a question asking whether the quilt art calendars are available yet. The 2018 is available, and you can order yours today. And where? where <laughs> Where? ShopAQS.com, I right. guess. ShopAQS.com. Uh, Do you have to sign up to vote online at Fall Paducah? That's another question have, that we have. You will have to register when you sign in to the, the site. Uh, we'll make that live and we'll put it on Facebook and everywhere so that people will have access into that um, particular part of our website. So no cheating. Uh, right. No, so you can't do so it more than once. You have to put in your website address, and it your will be email. checking too yeah. to make sure that that's a real address. So do you mean your email? Your email address. Email oh, address. What did I say? Website, website address. Oh, but you know, I meant okay. the email address. We know what you. But mean. it will be checking, and you know how sometimes it does it. It'll bounce back at you if you mess up, mess when you type it in. Mm -hmm. Well, and so if you mess up when you type it in, it will tell you that this. Is not an active web or email address. Wow. Yes. So one vote. We can't wait to see what everybody's going to do with it. It'll be really fun to find out how the public decides. We're sitting here in front of this quilt. Uh, we wanted to mention also this is by Toby Lishko. Um, look at the awesome, what I would call fussy cutting. Yes, those are Kaleidostar blocks. She has a Kaleidostar book and an iQuilt class, so you can learn that technique. Right. And I would like to know what other people call fussy cutting. I hear it's not necessarily the term that everyone uses these days, so let us know if you have another term for fussy cutting, or maybe we could coin a new phrase. If you've been thinking of one, now's the time. I'm voting oh. selective slicing. Selective slicing. Selective slicing. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. That's quick. Yes. Well, rotary cutters. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. That's all good. Well, <laughs> and so if you want to learn more about this technique from Toby, she has an iQuilt class. Oh, that's right. And you know what? You can learn at home, and you can learn 24-7, 365 days of the year. And if you have a cat like I do that gets you up at 2 or 3 in the morning and you can't go back to sleep, you can do it in your pajamas right there at home on your computer. And you can watch it as many times as you want. Hey, speaking of cats... I think Betsy did a poll the other day about cats in On Point. Yes, I did. And we answered the big question of what do quilters have more? Do they, ha do they, are they dog people or cat people? And so. I'm thinking cats, but a lot of people have dogs and love them too. The cats won, but only by 15%. So it was very surprising that it was so close. Well, did anybody have any other choices? They kitty, could put in any pigs, other so. animals they had. And one person, probably the wildest one I saw was kangaroo. And, oh. then there, and then there was that one person who said her husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That is right. Uh, a question has been asked about, uh, does AQS have a cat quilt pattern? And actually, I believe there will be one coming up in an upcoming magazine, if you'll keep your eyes open for that. It's not definite yet. And we also but, have a really yeah. popular one on the blog. I know, and that we was do. a cute one too. So look at aqsblog.com and you can, you can find a free pattern. Yes, and just use our search and you can search all of our free patterns and find cats and dogs and owls and all sorts of critters. No husbands or kangaroos though. We had another question of someone wanted to know how long uh, the iQuilt quilt classes last. And you know what? It's like purchasing a book. The difference is the iQuilt class resides on our server so that you can access it from anywhere and you can watch it as many times as you want for as long as you want. And if you take a class and you watch the first two lessons of a class and then you stop and go fix dinner or something, the computer will remember where you were so that you can come back and start right, right where you left off. And we have more than 50 classes on there, and they cover all kinds of different topics. It's really nice to have it right beside your computer with any kind of online uh, learning that you might be doing. You can, uh, right by your sewing machine, did I say, by your computer. Take it to your sewing but, machine, yeah. Yeah, take it to your sewing machine and just 
work right along with it. Well, okay. I think that's all for today. We hope that you'll join us next week at 11 o'clock on Wednesday for the next session of Quilt Chat. And get your questions ready. We'd be happy to answer them.